All right, well, Linda, it's Friday again. Facebook Friday, Dr. Friday. Gordon and Two Linda. weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Woo, Woo baby, we got a streak yeah. going. Exactly. And look. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at we that. We did a high five. Yeah. You look good. It yeah, looks good. Yeah. Healed up nicely. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. I still think that those ganglions, you can take a really heavy book and just smack it down. Just did that <laughs> one way to do it. No? Yeah, I'll see if I get another one, but that has okay. a little nerve okay. near it. All, right. All right. Well, that's good. We I don't try that at home, by the way. No, and, I, and Dr. Cannon right. wouldn't try it either. That's right. And he, and yeah. he was in the office. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's definitely cut on people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He knows how to cut people. Anyway. Well, anyway, uh, it's, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> And this is the end of Nursing Appreciation Week. Nurses Appreciation Week. And y'all got appreciated. We right? did get appreciated. I think Mark took some pictures. Maybe we'll be yep. posted. We'll be posted in the yeah. news this afternoon. And I yes. certainly want to show the appreciation after all you all did for, you know, Doctors Appreciation Day. <laughs> what was it, Mark, that they did? I can't. Do you remember? They spoke. They said some so very. Much. They said even, some very nice things I, about I you. Can't remember, I, can't, I can't even remember what it was. Yeah, it was, it's. It was so overwhelming. Really nice what, comment. What was given to me, and Dr. Keenan. It's amazing, right? It's just, just, just incredible. It's unforgettable. Is the way I would, I would phrase it. Taylor and Alyssa were saying the same thing about Administrative Professionals Week. That's right. When is that? It was just like last week. Was it really? Yeah. In April, wasn't it, Taylor? Is, is that right? Yeah. I'll look it up. You're making that up. I no, know she's that. not. Oh, my gosh. How about like... Because I wrote it, it down. April I was going to do something. Then. My yeah. life went crazy. April... April 26th. Really? See, and that's the day I had the surgery. That's I know my that. reason. That's a, yeah, yeah, that's right. I was sick that day. <laughs> yeah. Dog ate my homework. <laughs> Well, we do appreciate the nurses. Nurses do an amazing job. They really do. We Thank do appreciate you. the nurses. And, and, and we appreciate it, Taylor. And, 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 and we the definitely appreciate it. Man, staff, I tell you, if you don't yes. have, if you don't have a good front desk, oh, you're Lord. just, you're just stuck. I mean, I was telling them the story. I was visiting a referring doctor. He were on our way to visit relatives. I'm like, oh, I'll stop in and see this practice. They're pretty far from us. And okay. stopped in, went to the front desk, and Dr. Gordon, you know, I'd uh, like to you know, see Dr. So-and-so. And they're like, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, we don't allow anyone to come back and talk to the doctors. I'm like, I'm not a drug rep. I'm wearing a white coat. I am a doctor. I take I'm care of your patients doctor. who you send to me. I said, I, you know, are you sure? I said, I think you should ask your doctor if maybe it would be okay. Because my guess is if you ask him, he'll be fine with it. And if you don't ask him and he finds out later that you didn't even ask him, he is not gonna be happy. And she said, oh, well, let me ask somebody else if that's okay. And so then she did and she took my business card back and she showed the doctor. And then immediately, of course, I was like, hey, you know, come on back. You know, it took mm -hmm. five minutes just to chat. Uh -huh. And uh, who would not do that? Who would not do that? I mean, just to make really no, but, you. you know, because you I, know, tell? I know, but, but. What? Was it contemporary? No, no, no. no name names. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that. I asked if you wanted to tell them. No, no. She, she meant the they, office day course. It was not there yeah. anymore, but that was another practice locally. This one was further away. Oh, okay. But I mean, my point was, like, <laughs> just. I asked. But you got to ask, right? You got to say, listen, yeah. ask the doctor, right? Don't just blow off the doctor who's standing there. I mean, yeah. and this, of course, we're moving from, you know, nobody's called the doctor. It's always, you know, your provider. The provider will see you now. I'm, a pro I'm not a doctor anymore. I'm a provider, right? I'm providing. You know something. where that came from? Yeah, the I know. insurance I know. companies. I know, I know. But okay, so I, but you gotta ask, right? You gotta say, please, just ask. Asking is important, it's right? Very important, right? So we were up, you know, on, on Monday. You know, Susanna's back from France. We're getting her some, yeah. get, trying to get her some clothes that she can work at her internship this summer in Atlanta. You know, nice, you know, kind of professional mm -hmm. looking clothes and. Um, so we, we drove up to, to the outlets in Sevierville. Okay, we left, and it was like 60 and raining. You know, no problem. Had the dogs in the car. Got up there. Sun came out. Suddenly, it's 75 degrees. And you, have, you, leave, you cannot leave your dog in a car. No, because the degrees, 75 right? degrees yeah, be like, ends you know, up being 150 Exactly, right. You can't, you can't do that. And so, yeah. so as a good dog owner, I took my dogs out of the car and was walking around the outlet mall. So I'm just thinking, like, well, I'm not going to go into a woman's clothing store. So I'm stuck with the dogs, and I'm just walking around and going, well, what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you know, I'll, I'll stick my head in here at the, the shoe store and say, hey, can I, you know, can I bring my dogs in? They're like, oh, yeah, sure, it's great. I'm like, really? And, and the dogs came in, and they were loving on my dogs. And the dog <laughs> actually, like, 
said, you know, just drop the leashes, they're fine. And, you know, Belle, the black dog, like walking all around the shoe <laughs> store, you know, and looking in the back in the storage room and all sorts of things. They were like so good about it. And then I was like, wow, I wouldn't have thought that you could bring I your know. dog into what a retail either? store, right? And so then I went, I went to like the jockey store and you know, I need to get some new t-shirts. And I'm like, can I bring my dog? Oh yeah, bring your dog in. And I was like, wow. And then the true test, I didn't buy anything, but the Polo Ralph Lauren store. Mm -hmm. Okay, and no problem. Bring them in. They love the all of, like five staff members can run over to pat the dogs, talk to the dogs. I mean, it was incredible. So you gotta ask, right? Gotta ask. Gotta ask, right? And and ask is important. And so Mark has his infertility, faith, infertility, and hope, faith, and hope, infertility, faith, infertility yeah. podcast. That the one the, the episode that dropped yesterday, you know, about our patients in North Carolina that had asked. You know, they had asked like all these other clinics. You know can we do things in this way? Mm -hmm. And they were just shut down, right? I mean, that's mm -hmm. the whole point of the podcast, right? Just shut yeah. down, so no, you're, that's, that, I mean, why could you even ask that? That's just, that's just ridiculous, you know? Don't even think about the embryos as being alive. It's like, what are they then? <laughs> so they're not alive? Like, when do they become alive? So to me, like, that is ridiculous. Right? You know, I mean, so they weren't alive, mm -hmm. and then at some point, they magically then became alive. So their status changed. They were this, but then they became that. Without Somehow, magically, without any changing. So, mm -hmm. so they were just asking, saying, we just don't want to freeze the embryos. We just, whatever fertilizes, we want to transfer. And that would limit you to one or two to be fertilized. And they mm -hmm. had asked, I think, five different clinics, like they said in the podcast, right? And you know, in, in North Carolina, I mean, there weren't, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, you know, <laughs> in North Carolina. And they were just shut down. I mean, just shut down. It made it feel stupid. And, and finally, I was telling Mark, you know, when, when we first did our, our initial doxy call to just chat about this question, it was just the husband because I think, you know, the wife was just so upset by this whole issue that I think she just didn't She's, feel like she could mm -hmm. even get on there on the on the, the doxy call, the video uh, telemedicine call, because she was so upset. Right. You know, but you, you don't, if you don't ask, you don't know, mm -hmm. right? You don't ask, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what we say, you know, we, here we're asking, you know, happy to talk about it. And so those patients who are not local, happy to talk to them on those doxy calls mm -hmm. and just chat about it and for those who are low I mean there's not a bad I mean you always say there's never a bad question right that's true right there's, is, it, is it true Mark? that's no, a very diplomatic way to phrase it right yeah but sometimes there are questions that you just can't fathom <laughs> so I don't know if I should tell you about this one <laughs> mommy no 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 I, I want to hear it Mark wants to hear it yeah so, all right. well you know that so L, this goes that LJ uh, has been dealing with some home inspection issues, and they had a uh, electromagnetic frequency inspection of her home, right? Which was interesting. Like I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't want. I mean, I. You know, what are they measuring? Well, the electromagnetic waves. So, you know, in terms of like if you buy like big power lines, or uh -huh. you, there's some reason you have a microwave emitter in your backyard that is focusing <laughs> microwaves on you and making you sick, which is called the Havana syndrome, right? Where they think <laughs> right. that certain foreign powers have actually used focused <laughs> microwaves to make people sick in different embassies around the world for the United States, which may or may not be true. I mean, it's, you know, yeah. So. But all you have to do is line it with aluminum foil. Right, right. Or just hold your bag of popcorn and it starts popping. You go, oh, wow. <laughs> Man, it really is a problem. But, so, but I digress. So this I, I could have saved you a lot of money there. This guy said, Dr. Gordon, I have this embarrassing question to ask you. And I'm like, well, oh, big boy. I'm, I'm, bring it on. Tell me your embarrassing question. I'm a doctor. You said, can't embarrass said, me. said, well, you know, I was using an electric hair trimmer down there. And I'm like, Where's he going with this question? He's <laughs> like, what did you cut? You know, when she, did you have to go to the ER? And he goes, I just want to know, do you think the electromagnetic waves from the hair trimmer made my sperm bad? And I said, you know how I said that there are no dumb questions? <laughs> I gotta tell you, that could be, in my mind, kind of a dumb question. I'm just sorry. I, mean, I just, probably because I didn't expect you to ask that. I, I thought this was going to involve an ER visit and and laceration to things that shouldn't mm -hmm. be lacerated, okay? Mm -hmm. I did not expect that your concern was the electric hair trimmer generating electromagnetic waves and hurting your sperm, which I guess has never been studied, I suppose, and maybe you could do a study, but I don't know anything about it. So there, there may be questions that aren't, yeah. aren't as good, 
Yeah. yeah. Right. That's sort of a novel one. That was a novel yeah. one, right? I, that was a novel I, question. I didn't see that one coming. I gotta no. admit, <laughs> that one I didn't see coming. But whatever questions you have, bring them in. We, we can't guarantee that they won't ever show up on Facebook Friday, but this was over 15 years ago, so. So hopefully it so doesn't probably, matter to probably, them. Probably, probably, probably not watching. If you are, it's okay. I'm glad you asked the question. And hope you're reassured by that answer. But, uh, you know. You got to pre you appreciate patients feeling comfortable to ask the question, yes. right? Yes, because you, you feel need to. You need to feel. It's a safe. Yeah. I'm going to ask this question, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask that question, Linda. So that's good. Right. And we do have info for out of town patients at the top of the website as well. If people want to, right. they right. can that's click right. on the link. For, right, or you know, yeah. talk to talk to Taylor. You know, get get those info, yeah. those, those free docs and calls. Yep. You know, yep. and just knowing that that you know we're we're here in beautiful East Tennessee, where you can come and. And appreciate, and appreciate the wonders the of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, right? It's a lovely place to visit. So no matter what. And speaking of fertility, if you do see baby bears, don't, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Mama's close by. Uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Well, in any case, you for those of you out there, you're wasting another 12 minutes of your life <laughs> watching Facebook Friday. 12 no. minutes you won't get back. However, We're sorry, but you didn't pay for it. We want to wish you guys. Yes. The right, review that we have and, been successful with yes, recently. Yes. Your yeah. first happy mother's day. That's right, absolutely. And and for those I know for those who are struggling, it is it's a difficult day. It's, it's a very difficult hard. day. We understand that. And that's it. They, we, we sympathize with you too. We are hopeful that that through the different means that people can become mothers, whether it's through mm -hmm. you know, your own efforts or fertility treatment or embryo adoption, traditional adoption, foster parenting. There are so many ways to, to make a difference and to be a, a mother in one form or another, right? There's right. so many different ways, and that, that's important. Very important. That's right. So for all of you, we wish you a very, very happy weekend. Uh, uh, appreciate uh, the staff here. So the end of Nurses Appreciation Week, and can't wait to see how they will outdo themselves on Doctors Appreciation Day next year. I think it's, it's April Fool's Day, isn't it? <laughs> is it, is it, I think it's on April 1st. I, I think it is. I thought that was it. I thought it was a joke. Right? <laughs> Doctors are appreciated every day, right? Well, I do appreciate you. you do. I know you do. I know With you very do. rare exceptions that what? you have to dry my tears. Okay. Well, that's, no, that's all right. That's all right. Well, anyway, uh, everyone have a wonderful weekend. We'll be back. We're back next week. Yeah. Happy We're back Friday. next week. All right. Happy Friday.